crop seasons. India has following three crop seasons. Firstly, Kharif. This season starts with the onset of monsoons and continues till the beginning of winter. Major crops of this season are rice, maize, jauhar, bajra, cotton, groundnut and some pulses such as moong, urad, etc. The second season that we have is Ravi. This season starts with the beginning of winter season and continues till the end of winter or beginning of summer. Major crops of this season are wheat, barley, jauhar, gram and oil seeds such as linseeds, rape and mustard. The third crop season is Zayed. This is summer cropping season and major Zayed crops are rice, maize, groundnut, vegetables and fruits like watermelon, muskmelon, cucumbers, etc. Now, let us talk about the major crops grown in India. Firstly, the food crops and the first crop that we are going to talk about is rice. Rice is the most important food crop of India. India is the second largest producer of rice in the world after China and contributes nearly one-third of the world's production of rice. Rice is the staple food of millions of Indians. Now, let us talk about the conditions of growth. Rice is a tropical plant which requires high heat and high humidity. It grows well in areas having mean monthly temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and an average annual rainfall of 150 centimeter. The fertile clay or loamy soils are considered ideal for rice cultivation. Rice is the predominant crop in flood plain and river deltas. The successful growth of rice requires plenty of labor. Now let us talk about the production and distribution of rice. Production of rice is regularly increasing in India. India produces about 22% of the world's rice and is the second largest producer of rice in the world, next only to China with 33%. The main production comes from coastal plains and river deltas. Satlaj Ganga Plain has emerged as an important producer of rice during recent years. This has been made possible due to large-scale use of irrigation facilities coupled with high-yielding variety of seeds. West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Punjab, Orissa, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Karnataka, Assam, Maharashtra, etc. are the major rice producers. Comparing it with Japan, Rice is the main food crop of Japan and is the staple food of the Japanese. This crop dominates lowlands, which are easily irrigated. Japanese method of rice cultivation gives some of the highest yields of rice in the world. Rice is first prepared as nursery, in the seed beds and transplanted in late springs to the flooded fields. Some mechanization of rice cultivation has taken place in Japan. Paddle wheels, electric and diesel pumps are used to supply irrigation ditches with water. Small tractors are used for preparing the fields. Terracing is a common feature of rice cultivation on the margin of the plains. Honsu Island is the largest producer of rice in Japan. Here, coastal areas are intensely cultivated for growing rice. The Wanter Plain around Tokyo is well known all over the world for its rice cultivation. South of Honsu are the Sikoko and Kyusu Island, which are famous for rice cultivation. In the Hokkaido Island in the north, summer rice takes up a quarter of the agricultural land. Winters are too cold for rice in Hokkaido 
and rice is grown in summer only. Now let us talk about wheat. Wheat is the second important food crop of India after rice. India is the fourth largest producer of wheat in the world and contributes about 8% of the world's wheat. It is the staple food of the people living in the northwestern part of India. Next, conditions of growth. It is a rubby crop in India and is sown after the withdrawal of monsoon in the last week of October or early November. Some quick ripening high yielding varieties of seeds are sown as late as December or early January. It requires 10 degrees Celsius temperature at the time of sowing and 15 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius temperature at the time of ripening. It grows well in areas having average annual rainfall of 50 to 70 centimeters. Moving on to its production and distribution, India produces about 12% of the world's wheat and is the second largest producer of wheat in world after China with 20%. A total of 95.91 million tons of wheat was produced from 31.19 million hectares of land in 2013-14, giving a yield of 3,075 kg per hectare. This high yield has been possible due to the use of high yielding varieties of seeds, intensive irrigation and fertilizers. About 70% of the wheat production in the country is obtained from Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. The area under wheat has also been extended in some non-traditional areas like Bihar and West Bengal. Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra also have substantial area under wheat. In contrast to rice, wheat in China is mainly grown in northern and northwestern parts of the country. The temperate climate of these areas with an annual rainfall of 50 to 100 centimeters favors the cultivation of wheat. The main areas of wheat cultivation is in the Great Plain, including Weho Valley. The other areas include the Santung Peninsula, the lowest plateau, the Manchurian Plain, and the parts of Red Basin. Both winter and spring wheat are grown. Winter wheat is grown in the area south of Great Wall. Here the seeds are sown in autumn and harvested in spring. In Manchuria and areas north of the Great Wall, wheat is sown in spring and harvested in summer and hence called spring wheat. The Yongyi Basin has longer growing season than the Manchuria as a result of which yields are much higher in Wonghi Basin than Manchurian Plain. Extensive use of irrigation is made to ensure high yields and to avoid crop failures. However, crop failures do occur in the lowest plateau due to long winter and lack of irrigation facilities. Now, let us talk about some of the major commercial and industrial crops. Firstly, tea. Tea is the most important beverage crop. Tea requires about 25 degree to 30 degree Celsius temperature and a well distributed rainfall of 200 to 250 centimeter. It grows well in the well drained deep friable loam or forest land rich in organic matter. Stagnant water is harmful to the roots of the tea bush and as such it is grown on hill slopes. It requires plenty of cheap human labor at the time of plucking the tea leaf. This labor is generally provided by women and children. So when we talk about its production and distribution, India is the world's largest producer of tea contributing about 35% of total tea production of the world. The area devoted to tea cultivation 
was 3.14 lakh hectares in 1950-51. It increased to 6 lakh hectares in 2006-07. Most of the tea is grown in northeast India. Firstly, talking about Assam. Assam is the largest producer of tea in India. Bulk of production comes from the large plantations of Brahmaputra and Surma valleys. Small holdings have also started growing tea, which has largely contributed to the increase in production in this region. Next, West Bengal. Nearly one-fourth of India's tea is grown in northern districts of West Bengal, including Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri and Kujbihar. Darjeeling tea is well known for its flavor and is in much demand in national and international markets. Another important tea growing zone exists in South India, including Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. Comparing it with Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka is the third largest producer of tea after India and China and accounts for about 12% of the total world's production of tea. Tea is grown on higher slopes of the west zone, occupying greater part of the cultivated area in the hill country, mainly around Hatton and Nuwara Ilia, the area to the south of Badula and that to the north of Kandy. Tea plantations occupy about 240,000 hectares of land which is about one-fourth of the total cropped area of the country. The first tea plantations were developed by the British planters in 1870s in upland area about 1,000 meters in altitude. The tea-producing areas in Sri Lanka have rainfall ranging from 375 centimeters to 500 centimeters and temperature varies between 20 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. To serve these cooler and well-drained upland areas, railways and roads were constructed to link the capital city of Colombo with towns of Kandy, Matali, Hatton, Nuwara, Ilia and Badula. A large labor force is needed for each plantation, not only at plucking time, but also throughout the year. Most of the labor force is provided by the Indian Tamilians who migrated to Sri Lanka in search of livelihood. The tea crop is harvested during the spring growth period largely by female workers. The new leaves and buds are plucked by hand which involves large labor force. Sri Lanka is the second largest exporter of tea in the world next only to India. Tea is a very important foreign exchange earner for Sri Lanka. Tea processing is one of the main industries of this country. Next, let us talk about jute. Jute is the second important fiber crop after cotton. This crop provides cheap and strong fiber which is used as a raw material by jute industry. Conditions of growth. Jute requires hot and humid climate with temperatures between 24 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius and rainfall over 150 centimeter. The relative humidity should be nearly 90 percent. Well-drained alluvial loamy soils which are frequently renewed by floods are best suited to the cultivation of jute. The production and distribution. The production increased from 3.3 million bales in 1950-51 to 11.58 million bales in 2013-14. Over 74% of the total jute is produced in West Bengal alone. Over 16% and 6% jute is produced in Bihar and Assam respectively. Orissa, Uttar Pradesh, Tripura and Meghalaya are other producers. In comparison with Bangladesh, Bangladesh is the largest producer of jute in the world. The fertile alluvial soil of the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta, coupled with hot and humid climate, provides ideal conditions for jute culture in Bangladesh. 
almost all parts of Bangladesh provide jute, but four regions are outstanding. They are Narayan Ganj, Siraj Ganj, Nadan region and Devra region. This country provides better quality of jute which is in great demand in the international market. India is the largest buyer of jute from Bangladesh because most of the jute mills are located in India. The USA and Britain are the other purchasers. Moving on, let us now talk about the market gardening. Market gardening and orchard farming are closely related to horticulture. This is a section of agriculture in which fruits and vegetables are grown. India, with its wide variability of climate and soil, produces a large range of horticultural crops such as fruits, vegetables, potato, tropical crops, ornamental crops, medicinal and aromatic plants, spices and plantation crops like coconut, cashew nut, cocoa, etc. India has emerged as the largest producer of coconut, cashew nut, ginger, turmeric, black pepper and the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables. Among the new crops, kiwi, olive crop and oil palms have been successfully introduced for commercial cultivation in the country. Some improvement is seen in the adoption of technology for raising their production as well.